Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm showing you five of the new Disney Diecast planes. Here are the planes out of the package. One of my favorite features is that all of the propellers spin. Hey there, Dusty! That is so awesome that your propeller spins. Can I give it a whirl? Yeah, sure thing, Mater. Okay, I'll give it a push right now. Woo! This is awesome. I wish I had a propeller like you. In the Planes movie, Dusty is afraid of heights, but I don't know why. Let's watch the die-cast Dusty fly. Oh boy, maybe this is why he's afraid of heights. This toy can't even fly. He keeps on crashing. Uh-oh. Even though this die-cast Dusty Crop Hopper airplane can't fly, he's still pretty awesome. On Dusty's side, it says Dusty and the number 7. And on his back wing, it also has a D for Dusty and the number 7. This is the racing version of Dusty Crop Hopper. This diecast plane is El Chupacabra. His propeller spins very easily and is a little bigger than some of the other airplanes. My favorite feature about El Chupacabra is his cute little green cape. It actually bends very well on this diecast. It's a very, very soft plastic and it can bend up and down. His racing number is number 5 and he has working tires to move back and forth. Hi, El Chupacabra. Can you give me a ride to Radiator Springs? Sure thing, Mater. Whee! Up, up, and away. This blue naval airplane is Skipper. He is the flight instructor in the Mater's Tall Tales episode, Air Mater. Skipper lives in Prop Wash Junction and will be the instructor in planes to Dusty Crop Hopper. Hey there, Skipper. Yep, Mater. Can you learn me how to fly? Well, you're a car, so I wouldn't exactly recommend flying for you. Well, let me try anyway. Oh, man. You can't fly. This plane is Rip Slinger. His propellers split to make four. He is a bad guy in the planes movie. He's got a really cool paint job, though, with some flames. And he's green, similar to Chick Hicks in the Cars movie. Ripslinger is also unlucky number 13. This airplane is lead bottom. He is also a crop duster. His propeller spins, but not as easily as some of the other diecast planes. Uh, one cool thing about him is if you can see on his head, it looks like he's wearing a flying helmet. One of those old leather ones, and he even has goggles on the top. It's a little hard to see, but I think it's a very nice feature. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plane is and if you've purchased any of these diecast planes yet. Thank you and have a great day!